The BMW 7 Series has been the best car the company makes for a long time. It is an executive sedan, and it has most of the new and interesting features from the automaker. Even though the last few versions of this big four-door car were great in every way, the interior didn't feel much different from BMW with less powerful engines. When you look at the inside of the current 7 Series and compare it to the inside of the cheaper 5 Series or even the previous 7 Series, the only major difference is the finish on the accent buttons. Welcome to this video, let's get started. With the brand new 2023 BMW 7 Series, the same changes won't be made over and over again. Instead of just changing the car's exterior and interior, it looks like BMW is starting from scratch with the new 7 Series and putting in all of its strange design ideas. A dashboard that is lit all the way up and down check. A system for playing music that has 36 speakers. Sure. Controls for a touchscreen display put in the back doors for the passengers. The 7 Series, which just got a makeover, also has this feature. It looks like the 7 Series won't have to take a back seat to Mercedes' always awesome Benz and always surprising S-Class anymore. For the 2023 model year, BMW top-of-the-line sedan, the 7 Series, which has been the brand's most stylish and technologically advanced car for many years, has a completely new version. Later, the lineup will include a turbocharged inline-six engine, a twin-turbo V8 engine, and a plug-in hybrid engine. The formula doesn't differ much from what is already in the car. From what we saw in a prototype that was cleverly disguised, the 7 Series seems to float down the road. It draws a little bit better than the 2022 model because the chassis and suspension have been changed and a new technology has been added to control the back wheels. Its driver assistance technology includes a semi-autonomous mode for driving on the highway. However, the best thing about the car is its optional 31.3-inch theater screen rear entertainment screen, which drops from the ceiling and streams TV and movies over Wi-Fi. You can upgrade to this display if you want to. What will happen in 2023? For the 2023 model year, everything about the 7 Series has been changed. So it now has a more luxurious interior, cutting-edge technology, and a bold design on the outside. The plan is to start making them this summer, and they will start shipping them out in November 2022. The 740 i will only be available with rear-wheel drive, and it will be powered by BMW Smooth and Silky Inline 6. We think this version will be good enough for the vast majority of customers. BMW 760i xDrive has a twin-turbo V8 and is for people who want all-wheel drive or more horsepower. We recommend getting both the Executive Lounge Package, which comes with massage and power, adjustable reclining rear seats, and the fancy 31.3-inch theater screen rear seat entertainment system, which can stream videos through the car's Wi-Fi connection. The Executive Package comes with both of these things. The same body shell will also be used as the basis for the i7, an all-electric version that we won't talk about here how it works, how it moves, and how the engine works. The 740i has a 3.0-liter inline-six engine that is turbocharged and makes 307 to 5 horsepower. A 48-volt hybrid system helps the engine. This type can only move forward on its back wheels. BMW thinks that it will take the 740i about 5 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. The 760i X-Drive comes standard with all-wheel drive and is powered by a 4.4-liter V8 engine with twin turbochargers that can make 536 horsepower. This engine also has a hybrid system with 48 volts, and BMW says that it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds. During a short test drive in Germany, we were able to try out the prototype car with 8 cylinders. We couldn't believe how well it worked and how fast it went. The new car has an air suspension and dampers that can be changed. It also has steering for back wheels. The chassis was made with these features built in. So, the new car looks like it can move faster than the one it replaces. But comfort continues to be more important than performance. How would you rate the 7 Series interior? The 7 Series cabin is a work of art in and of itself, 
starting with the high-quality materials used. Inside, there is glass, open pour wood, and, of course, high-quality leather, all of which take the design to an unbeatable level. Parts of the doors are made of stainless steel that are beautifully decorated and sit above speakers that light up. At night, the 7 Series shows off its high-tech ambient lighting, which includes a backlit, full-width dashboard that BMW calls the Interaction Bar. Under the curved touchscreen is a part of the Interaction Bar that makes it easy to change the temperature. The controls that automatically open and close the doors are on the very edges of the Interaction Bar. Both the iDrive controller and the drive selector are made of glass and are in the center console. There is also a gloss black control panel with no buttons that controls other parts of the car. The new 7 Series is like most cars in its class in that the back seat is just as comfortable as the front. Even though padded headrests, adjustable seats, and a wireless charging pad are available as extras, passengers aren't surprised to find out that they're included as standard. On the other hand, the 5.5-inch touchscreens on the door grab handles stand out because of their odd size. They can also control the heating and cooling functions, the individual temperature zone, the ambient lighting, the audio system, and the optional theater screen entertainment display. The 7 Series has a lot of room for its people to move around. Reports say that the new model has more room for your head and is a bit longer and wider than the one it replaces. All of the outside seats gave my tall, 6-foot, 4-inch body plenty of room to move both side to side and up and down. The fact that the BMW 7 Series is full of cutting-edge technology shouldn't come as a surprise. In fact, the inside makes you feel like you're in a concept car that's being shown for the first time at CES. In the front, there is a big curved screen, a 14.9-inch touchscreen, and a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster are in the middle. The second one has the latest infotainment system from BMW, which is called iDrive 8. The sound system can be a standard 18-speaker Bowers and Wilkins system, or an amazing 36-speaker surround sound system with speakers in the headdress and ceiling. Both of these systems are good options. The BMW 7 Series was one of the first BMW to have a navigation system that used augmented reality. Most likely, Mercedes-Benz, the company's biggest competitor, gave them the idea for this feature. Once you tell the navigation system where you want to go, the picture from the front camera will show up on the gauges. In the image, there will also be floating arrows that point in the right direction. It's a cool feature that goes well with the high-tech look of the 7 Series. This mood is probably best shown by the brand new theater screen, which can be bought as an add-on. Just below the panoramic sunroof, you can find a 31-inch widescreen screen with an 8K resolution. This gives people in the back of the bus a lot of ways to pass the time. It comes with an Amazon Fire TV and a 5G modem, which lets it stream content in ultra-high definition. Seeing it in person for the first time is a life-changing event, but some people might find the screen a little too close for comfort. It makes the back window useless when it's up, and it's shocking that the 7 Series doesn't have a digital rear-view mirror. People should get used to looking in their side mirrors. The high-tech systems that help the driver have also been updated many times. For example, the forward collision mitigation system can now sense oncoming traffic and apply the brakes to avoid a crash. This model also has the Parking Assistant Professional feature, which was first introduced on the iX and lets drivers tell their cars how to get out of tight driveways or drive backwards. Drivers can also pick a mode that will make decisions for them at higher speeds. With the new Highway Assistant feature, you can drive without using your hands at speeds of up to 80 miles per hour. The old speed limit was 50 miles per hour, so this is a change. When compared to the last generation, the technology in the new 7 Series has grown by leaps and bounds, thanks to these and other new features. That was all from this video. See you next time.